don't envy Cormac being in the same room with that guy. Is he talking at least? That's the problem. He won't stop. And that's why America should convert to the metric system. <laughs> also, I didn't kill that guy, so. Yeah, tell it to the lie detector, sicko. Wait, really? You guys still use these? <laughs> yeah, you got a problem with that? Yeah, because they don't work at all. You didn't know this? The polygraph test is 100% old-timey pseudoscience. You know, back in the dark ages, they would force criminals to hold a red-hot iron to see if it burned them. If it did, it meant you were lying. State your name for the record. Lying already? But the modern polygraph is just as ridiculous. Humans are complicated. The truth isn't something you can just detect with a machine. Oh yeah? Then what's it detecting, buddy? Heartbeat, blood pressure, breathing, sweat. Dirty, sweaty liars. But why would being sweaty necessarily mean you're lying? Hell, it could just mean you're doing CrossFit. 50, 51. You're lying, bro. You're lying. Hey, stop with the cutaways, punk. Truthful people can fail polygraphs just because they're sweaty or nervous. And all you have to do to beat the test is stay super chill and keep your heart rate down. Criminals do it all the time, like... Gary Ridgway, the Green River Killer, Soviet spy Aldrich Ames, and serial killer Charles Cullen, also known as the Angel of Death. They're monsters. Monsters who all beat the polygraph just because they were laid back dudes with chill attitudes. The polygraph is so easy to beat, they teach classes on how to do it. Really? Whatever, jerk. All this is just your opinion. Hate to break it to you, but even the inventor of the polygraph thought it was BS. Hey, slime ball, sit down or I'm calling for backup. The only backup we'll need today is from scholarly sources. Oh. The polygraph was invented in 1921 by a medical student named John Larson. I will never regret inventing this. He would go on to regret inventing it. Larson became so horrified by law enforcement's unscientific use of his device, he would go on to call the machine a Frankenstein's monster. Stop it! It's a lie! It's a lie! Damn it. But no one listened. And ever since, people have insisted that the polygraph can do, frankly, impossible things. In the late 1960s, a polygraph expert conducted tests on plants and concluded, Good gravy, this plant can feel emotions like pain and fear. Instead of the more obvious conclusion, Good gravy, this machine is a piece of garbage that goes off randomly. Okay, pea brain, if it's garbage, why do so many people trust it? Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> they say that she's cooperating, but when the mom won't take a polygraph, to me, that raises a red flag. He's lying. During your relationship, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> The media has pushed the infallibility of the lie detector so hard that now everyone believes in it, even though it just straight up doesn't work. And this thing is still embedded in our legal system. Massachusetts uses it to establish probable cause. Florida requires sex offenders to take the test. Combined, government agencies test over 70,000 people a year with this century-old piece of pseudoscience. Listen, Conover, you want to know the truth? We know it doesn't work. We just use it to trick gullible criminals who think it works into giving confessions. Are you happy now? Yeah, I am, because now everyone knows that, so you can't trick them anymore. Listen, bird! Hi, I'm Adam Conover. If you want to see more, click here or here. I don't know what either of these are because they're going to add them in post. I don't know what the videos are. They just told me in the script to do this. This here's a secret for you. Hollywood's fake. Everything's added in post.